What is up, my friends in Call of Dragons? I'm going to help you guys to succeed here by helping you to get more hero tokens for epic and as well as for your legendary heroes. I've got seven ways on here how to help you. So if you guys like this, give us a thumbs up onto the video. And if you want to see more Call of Dragons content, consider subscribing with your notifications turned on. Now, you with your notifications, it might be on personalized. You may want to switch that onto all so you will get notified with all of our videos for when we upload next in here for Call of Dragons. My name is Shinchi42. If you guys are new to this channel, I want to say hello. And um, I'm a, you know, four years content creator. We've uploaded about, um, you know, 2000 videos now. Um, you know, hopefully um, my contents in here will help you to succeed in Call of Dragons from being noob to becoming a better player, becoming a pro. And hopefully one day you will be even better than me. And also if you find something new stuff in here in Call of Dragons, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. You guys can join my Discord server, get the Call of Dragons role and PM me as well. I don't say that I am a 100% professional into the game yet since this is brand new, but I'm going to help you to succeed here to be better player. And like I said, I don't know everything still. I'm only going to be sharing to you guys what I know so far, what knowledges I have to, sh you know, basically my goal here as creating content is to help you to succeed and enjoy the game. Number one tip here is that you need to do your quest. Your main quest in here, you're going to get your starting hero tokens from here. So if you chosen, let's say, League of Orders, you're going to get um, Waldir. If you chose Spring Waters, you're going to get Guanwin. And I do recommend that you choose Guanwin because you are going to do better in Behemoth Raids using a Marksman. Okay, so you do your daily quest, your weekly, your seasonal. You are going to get, you know, your hero token here. So right now I have Waldir and some what I'm working on right now. So you can either choose Guanwin if you would like. You can just click that and select and change things in here. You can also get some legendary hero tokens from the rewards in here as well. As you can see, you can purchase the bundle in here for this one. Uh, pretty much like a battle pass, you all you are also going to be able to get some legendary hero tokens as well. You can also get some hero tokens from doing the adventures. As you can see in here with the wonder quest, we can get some hero tokens. And not just that, we're also going to get some units as well. Now, if we look into the hero recruitment in here with the chest, in the silver chest, you can get some epic and elite heroes. If you go for the gold chest, you can get for legendary, epic heroes, and as well as elite heroes. Now, the question is, how can I get more of the gold key? Well, you have to do the ruins, villagers, caves, completing wonder quests, what I just mentioned, and also participating in some of the events. So, for example, when we do the um, scouts in here, you can do the wonders, you can get some gold key from there, villages as well, and you know, other stuff in here where you have a chance to get some gold key. If you do look into the events, you look into the strongest lord, you are going to be able to get a gold key by just training legions in here. So look into your events, what is going to grant you gold keys, so you have to pay attention to that. You can also get some more gold keys through the daily chest in here as well, as you can see. Now, another way that is like something unique for this game is that there are dialogues with the heroes. So speak to the heroes. Sometimes they will be giving you a um, tokens in here. So for this time, we did not get any tokens. Sometimes when they have a big exclamation, talk to them right away. So you'll have a chance to get, you know, hero tokens. Another thing is that here in the hero archives, you can also get some um, hero tokens as I have completed my dialogue with the um, hero in here. I have also obtained some hero tokens. Now, let's go back in here for Waldir. You can also give them a Stardew, which some people refers to as a honey. You can gift them and it increases basically the trust level. So just do this one. Let's level up Waldir here with the trust. So we went six and you get a little dialogue in here. There we go. Sometimes they will give you their specific tokens. So like I mentioned earlier, you kind of have to look into the events. So in the events, you can get some hero tokens. For example, here with Bakshi, if you do spin here, I have 12. So if we spin for Bakshi in here, let's do this one. You can get some hero tokens like just like that. We got some hero tokens for Bakshi. We got one for this spin. The strongest Lord also is another one that you can get. 
some hero tokens as well if you rank up high in here for the armaments ranking you can get 200 garwood tokens and you can get some 20 tokens for the battle rankings so the strongest lord does change initially it was bakshi and then and then it is Garwood, and I believe Kinara is also in the Strongest Lord now as well. Now, with talking with the events, there is another event in here that hasn't come out very much. I've only seen it once. It is the event called Crucible of Courage. I do have a video for that, so I do recommend that you guys check it out. Search Crucible of Courage Shinchi 42 on YouTube, and you can find that video. It is very similar to Karouac Challenge in rise of kingdoms might only come once in a season here in call of dragons i'm not so sure yet about that another way to get more hero tokens is through the buying of packs so you can buy packs here as you can see i can get season one hero custom token and if you go to the greatness great value bundle there's actually a specific bundle here for uh, legendary hero token as you can see season one custom token hero of tamaris bundle and also from the daily deals you can select whichever heroes you want to get their specific tokens as well so i typically buy the daily deals so that is something that you can definitely consider here in call of dragons now i do have my tokens in here and our server has already ended yes you can still use them so if we do that you can convert them still to, to all the season one heroes here in call of dragons oh a bonus tip here for you guys is that go to the goblin market and you can actually scrap your hero tokens once you've maxed them out and then you can try to get some more gold keys in here um, so you can basically get more of hero tokens of other specific heroes. So let's say I've maxed out Waldir. I can basically scrap Waldir. I can get more gold keys. And then I can have more chance of getting other heroes in the gold chest. So I almost forgot to give you the most important tip here in Call of Dragons. Is that when you're working on your hero skills, try to work on specific hero one at a time. So for example, me, I'm working on Bakshi in here. You can also get more hero tokens from the bazaar as well. Um, for example, I get daily in here with my VIP. As you can see, um, this is pretty much onto the added version, added onto the way. So we pretty much give you like more like eight, eight ways to get more hero tokens. Um, in the VIP in here, pretty much once you have reached um, VIP level um, eight in here, you're going to get the legendary one. So you're going to get epic for a while and you're going to get some tokens for the um, elite heroes in here until you reach level four so pretty much you know work on your heroes one at a time in here so for example like i said i'm working on bakshi make sure to max out the first skill of all of your of all of your pvp and as well as pve heroes except if they are a gatherer for example like chak cha you can work on to the second skill right away because the second skill is where the benefit for the gatherer for example even for pan you can also reset the hero skills in here by clicking onto the skills and you can click retrain and you can reset the hero skills in here it will be randomized so if you already have five in here don't try to retrain the hero so yeah make sure to have your first skill of the pvp and pve hero max on their first skill because it is going to be the skill that will deals a lot of damage or give a lot of buff so you want to max out the first skill first and then work on to the other skills. So sometimes you can do 5-5-1-1 five, five, one, one, so, or you can do a 5-5-5-1. Five, 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 That's a different strategy to kind of talk about in the near future. So with that being said, good luck to you guys. Hopefully this video is helpful to help you succeed in Call of Dragons from being a noob to pro. Uh, my goal here is to help you guys to become a better player. And also by making videos in here, it's also helping me to be a better player because me trying to research and sharing the knowledge to you guys. If you guys have extra knowledges that we didn't talk about in here, feel free to send me a message or comment in the comment section below. If you find this helpful, please give me some feedback in the comments. I definitely love to hear from you. Anyway, my friends in Call of Dragons, I will see you again next time. And don't forget to give us a high five by sending us a thumbs up. And if you are on TikTok, just double tap and I'll see you again next time.